Welcome to The Bo Show. A few years ago when I lived in Denver, Colorado, I had the opportunity to be a part of the inaugural Folds of Honor Denver chapter event. A few weeks ago, I was able to return to Denver to perform for their fourth annual gala. Here's a small presentation from that event in Denver. I'm just one of thousands of faces that have a sort of similar story, different story, but a story that they lost a loved one and a cold pillow at night, and it's not fun. The overwhelming weight of the folded flag being handed to you, no one wants to have that handed to them because it's unbearable. And um, you don't think that you're strong and everyone says that you are, but you're not. It's, it's You're just trying to survive. Grateful is just not enough of a word. And I feel that God had a hand in bringing folds in to literally fill the gap. Folds of Honor is an important organization. And I want to tell you about them because some of you watching could even be directly affected by this organization or know someone who could be. After all, we all have very few degrees of separation from someone in the military. And after we have witnessed the recent tragedy in Afghanistan, there is a timeliness to this as well. Folds of Honor began with Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney, an F-16 fighter pilot who came back from his second tour of duty in Iraq back to America to see firsthand the realities that families face when a service member becomes disabled or killed in action. Here's Lieutenant Colonel Rooney telling the story of synchronicity. There's a term I love in life, synchronicity. I define that as chance with a purpose. And one fateful night, my life would change forever. Um, I was flying from Chicago here to Grand Rapids, Michigan. It was United Flight 664. Finally get on this airplane, I walk through first class, and um, I see this kid, he catches me off guard because he's a corporal sitting in dress army greens. And I go sit um, in coach, and about an hour and a half or so later, we land in Grand Rapids, Michigan. As we pull up to the gate, the captain comes over the PA and um, says that we have an American hero on board. And my mind immediately jumps to this kid in first class, right? And I was like, what did he do? I'd just gotten back from uh, my second tour of duty in Iraq, flying the F-16, and um, he continues the captain by uh, informing us that we are carrying the remains of Corporal Brock Buckland on this flight. And his identical twin brother, Corporal Brad Buckland, was in first class and has brought him those 7,000 miles home. The captain makes another request that everybody stay in their seats until his remains are removed from the right cargo hold. And um, that night I watched um, the other side of war. Uh, as I looked out on the tarmac, uh, the Bucklands on the darkest night of their lives. Uh, the thing that really got me though was his, uh, his four-year-old son. Sat right below the cargo ramp as that American flag draped coffin inched down. And the finality of the sacrifice hit me. Um, the reality is that this young boy would never play catch with his dad again. He would never be tucked in at night. And that term freedom isn't free didn't mean anything until I witnessed that. And as the ceremony finishes itself up, you know, I wipe away my tears, right, and I grab my backpack and I look back to the airplane, only to see that more than half the plane had gotten off. No place to go, except that blanket of freedom we'll all sleep under each and every night, courtesy of one percent of this country that suits up every day, willing to defend and pay the ultimate sacrifice for the other 99 percent. And that was my moment of synchronicity. I knew with every fiber of my being that God had called me on a mission. Since that time, Lieutenant Colonel Rooney has committed his life to providing scholarships to the spouses and children of fallen and disabled soldiers through Folds of Honor, an organization that he founded. Jacob Buckland became the first recipient of a Folds scholarship in 2007. In the organization's symbol, which is a folded flag, we see the cost of freedom, but we also see a symbol of hope, of American ideals. So the folded flag that is their logo represents both sacrifice and freedom. The symbol is an enduring one because it extends the legacy of service through the education of our heroes' spouses and children so that they can continue their own ambitions. There have been 30,000 scholarships awarded since 2007. 90% of the funds donated go directly to the scholarships. And there were 4,500 scholarships awarded in 2020 through 2021. That 90% of funds that are donated is important. 
because many charities have tons of overhead and the funds don't go where they say they go. Folds of Honor is, however, a four-star charity with the Charity Navigator and has the GuideStar Platinum Seal of Transparency in 2020. Here are a few of the stories from recipients of, of scholarships. Now I'm considered a legacy scholar for Folds of Honor. I have the opportunity now to spread the word so that other kids like me or spouses who have lost a loved one in the military can receive the funding and the family of Folds of Honor. It has taken away this debt after college. It allowed me to do so many things that I would not have been able to do. And one of the most important things it did is it made me not feel alone. The people who I've met through Folds of Honor have reminded me how important my dad was and how he's still remembered today. He gave his life so that I can live, so that I can have the opportunity to teach and to one day be a doctor. So I try to find the joy in it. I think that I'm here in Southern California teaching high school to be a witness of joy and love to them every day. The chance that I have to show up and just love, that's why I'm here. I met Lieutenant Colonel Rooney at the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500, the uh, NASCAR race that's held annually in Atlanta, and I was able to speak with him about his mission. It's always great to understand the why for those who start charities, and clearly it's from the heart. As we all watched the 13 fallen soldiers in Afghanistan recently, reality sinks in. This is a heartbreaking loss for the families and for Americans as a people. Those 13 fallen have spouses and children that may likely become Folds of Honor scholarship recipients in the near future. You'll likely see the Folds logo through many events since groups like Anheuser-Busch is a sponsor for them. I think another reason that Folds of Honor has such relevance is that we are seeing a shocking number of veterans committing suicide. And even more recently, that number has climbed due to the situation in Afghanistan where many soldiers unfortunately feel that their efforts were in vain, watching the country just fall right back in the hands of the Taliban. So when you think about the spouses of these veterans and their children, there's some real needs out there. And Folds comes in to meet that need. Well over $300,000 was raised at the Denver event where I performed recently. And there are chapters all over the country where you can get involved. I think this is part of our way of paying it forward. It's our duty as Americans. Education has come into the spotlight lately as the pandemic changed many styles of learning, be it remote or otherwise. I was able to attend high school and college partially on merit and need-based scholarships, so I know very well the benefit of being able to afford a quality education. And let's face it, the price of education has gotten out of control lately. It costs a fortune. Try saddling that on a single parent. What I love about Folds of Honor are the stories that spouses tell. And in the video earlier, you heard one of those stories. This is not one of those charities that, where you have some huge overhead where the money ends up getting squandered. And I think we all recognize the legacy and endurance of an education. It pays massive lifelong dividends. It empowers those who get educated to pursue their dreams and attain employment that provides that recipient and their family, provides for them their, for their livelihood. I believe that today's society has become one that has diminished the value of education, both the formal or institutional kind and the street sense or even basic trades. We don't uplift or value those who pursue higher learning. And failing to educate, especially our kids, is what can lead to a path of addiction, falling in with the wrong groups, and even crime. Education has positive benefits outside of the obvious ones. It teaches discipline, it teaches prioritizing your time, it teaches social interactions with peers, and interpersonal dynamics that lay the foundation for basic employer relationships. And then ultimately, of course, educating yourself and pursuing your passion will lead to be able to secure a good career and provide for your family. And in today's world, sometimes a bachelor's degree is simply not enough. 
Competition is fierce. So even pursuing higher learning and postgraduate degrees can become quite important. That's why Folds of Honor's theme is honor their sacrifice, educate their legacy. In the symbol of the folded flag comes the significance of the heavy price of freedom. This organization provides hope to the bearers of the legacy of the fallen and the disabled. And there are several different types of scholarships that Folds of Honor creates. They support the Children's Fund, or K-12, through and also higher education. One of the big ways that Folds is able to raise these funds is through charity golf tournaments, like the one for which I performed in Denver. Through the fun game of golf, which I actually greatly enjoy, people come together to turn vision into a mission. As Lieutenant Colonel Rooney mentioned in the video earlier, he talked about the word synchronicity, which is basically the coincidence of events, especially psychic events, that are not explained by typical causality. This comes largely from the work of psychologist Carl Jung. So when synchronicities happen, there is great meaning in what is happening, but seems to be lacking causal connection. The event might be so meaningful that it defies probability of mere chance. And for Lieutenant Colonel Rooney, who had done several tours as an F-16 fighter pilot, he never really understood the cost of freedom until he saw the flag-draped coffin of a soldier being returned. That was his Kairos moment. Kairos is a Greek word that means the right time or opportune moment to do something, which is different from chronos or common clock time. So if Kairos is the right opportunity, Lieutenant Colonel Rooney turned that opportunity into action and created Folds of Honor. Most of us probably hope for synchronicities in our lives. And when they happen, we can't explain them. And let's be honest enough to say that what we all long for as human beings is a sense of meaning, of deep, deep meaning. So when these events occur, we have to be paying attention. I've been fortunate enough to be a small part of a number of ceremonies and events where I have heard these types of synchronicities. And maybe that even gave me a deeper sense of meaning. I've been asked before, but why is it that you care about America or, or veterans? What inspired you to write the song Blessed or Heart of Purple and Gold? Well, a simple answer to that could be synchronicity. I saw a void in our culture and felt it needed to be addressed. That led me to put pen to paper. And then I had the opportunity to perform all over the country for very meaningful events and commemorations. I heard stories of true legacy, of true sacrifice. So to perform for these people and honor them is the small impact and legacy that I want to leave. We really can change culture, but it starts with everyday people making a commitment. Lieutenant Colonel Rooney had already given a lot by serving his country, but now he has made an even bigger impact by seeing a void and a need and creating an organization that can pay it forward. Many times in life, I think we look at things and take the easy way out because we just, we assume someone else will do what we should be doing. We default our obligations to others. A lot of people love the game of golf, but to think that you could play a round of golf while raising money to honor soldiers and educate their dependents is something special. I think we've all heard the phrase, do it for the kids. Well, in this case, that couldn't be more true. Earlier this month, we commemorated 20 years since the 9-11 attacks. And in 20 years, a lot of American soldiers' lives have been lost. And not just in the fields of combat or the terrain of Afghanistan and Iraq, but we have to face the unsavory numbers of veteran suicide. And with the recent deaths of over a dozen in the suicide bombings in Kabul, we get constant reminders that freedom isn't free in spite of our noble aims to spread it around the world. That's why whenever I'm at a coffee shop or at a restaurant and I see two elderly veterans with World War II or Vietnam hats on, I feel compelled to say something. They did something so that you and I didn't have to do it. And hasn't that really been America's greatest story? The fact that people did something for the greater prosperity of all who came after them? 
Because America isn't just a place, it's an idea. And in order to maintain that idea, you have to have volunteers who step up to the plate to keep the idea alive. We need our best and brightest military, of course, but we also need our best minds. Half of California's third graders aren't even up to the state's proficiency standards. That's not going to bode well for the next generation. So education becomes quite important. I feel very, very blessed to have been able to go to great schools that provided me with the toolkit and experience to do what I do today. And that entire way was paved through both need-based and merit-based scholarships. I was able to attend Northwestern University where I could explore both my creative artistic and my analytical talents. We really do owe a debt to the soldiers who gave everything so that we could enjoy the freedom that we have. But sometimes that freedom creates complacency and we think we can slack off. To me, that is why you have synchronistic moments like Dan Rooney and his calling to create Folds of Honor, or my friend Major Zachariah Fike, who created Purple Hearts Reunited. The word duty comes to mind because soldiers consider it their duty to defend America. But what's our duty? Those of us who didn't put on a uniform? Well, in my estimation, our duty would be to honor them by upholding American ideals and values educating our youth and not teaching them to hate each other or hate our country for the trials our country has had to endure. It's not just an education, it's the quality of education. To me, to be inspirational is to live a life of purpose, to be someone that affects change in a positive way and then motivates others to go do the same. Moments of synchronicity are important because they are wake-up calls. We can't explain why they happen, but given the deep meaning of them, they are not to be ignored. Outside of traditional giving through monetary means, there are some other ways you can support Folds of Honor. For instance, they welcome donations made in honor or memory of a loved one. Many companies get involved by matching charitable donations of their employees. So you could get your company involved. You can choose the foundation to be a recipient of your will or a percentage of your estate or even a life insurance plan. You can even donate your car to Folds of Honor. So you can see that there are many ways to give and to think that you could be directly impacting someone's life, especially through their education, is a powerful act. So what is your synchronicity or your Kairos moment to do something? There are about 30 chapters of Folds of Honor across the country, and you can easily get involved. Maybe I will even see you at a future Folds event and have the chance to meet you. I have met, honestly, some incredible people at the events that I've performed at in recent years. And you can't leave a Folds event without being profoundly impacted by the stories you hear. In addition, I think it's a preservation and protection of the American way of life. What I'm saying is, you can defend America without ever serving in the military. You can do it through your giving and your proactive involvement. You have to engage. Make it a family thing too. I think that our, our families and the nuclear family unit is under attack right now. You see a million kids out there on their iPhones or their tablets, and those can be educational in some respects, but to get outside or Play a round of golf is to share that American experience and bond. Golf itself is a game of patience, and I am not the most patient person in the world, but it's disciplinary in a way. I think it's great that Folds has anchored itself around a number of golf tournaments and partnered with the PGA. You will probably see a number of pro golfers wearing Folds of Honor hats or shirts out on the course. That folded flag symbol should remind us of what is at stake and what our duty is. I performed my song Blessed in a Hallmark movie called The Ultimate Legacy, which still airs on the network as well as on Amazon Prime. And people from all over have reached out to me after seeing the movie because they were impacted by the way the song and scene honors veterans. That has permitted even more opportunities for me to sing the song, such as Folds of Honor. Every day you write a new chapter of your legacy. But through the principle of compound interest, you can impact other legacies as well
through further education that lasts a lifetime. I hope that I can encourage anyone out there watching right now to be proactive and not procrastinate to do what is honorable. You can visit Folds of Honor's website at foldsofhonor.org and do some exploring and find out how you can make an impact. Maybe even you seeing my show today could be a, a moment of synchronicity for you. I don't know, but I'll keep trying to do my part and I hope that you will do yours. Honor their sacrifice and educate their legacy. I'm Bo and that's the show.